Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spare to Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me wherever you are in the world. I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk about self-worth and validation and finding that outside of you versus being your self-worth and validation for yourself. Um, I want to talk about why that's really important, but also what that does to you energetically when you are putting your self-worth and validation outside of yourself. So before I do that, I always like to say these are my truth and my experiences that have led me down my own spiritual path. They don't have to be yours, so use your own discernment. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Uh, but keep an open mind just because it doesn't resonate with you today. It may resonate with you down the road when you have a different perspective. Okay, so let's talk about this self-worth and validation. I think a lot of us have placed that self-worth and validation at some point or another outside of us, right? And if you're walking this spiritual path or healing path, at some point you're going to be triggered to look inward for that self-worth and validation, okay? Um, you know, for me in particular, my self-worth, I probably projected it onto a lot of things when I was growing up. So let's say, you know, my peer groups, uh, the grades in school, my um, um, athletic ability, especially around soccer, right? And what I have found is that if you place your self-worth and validation outside of you, it's going to be a never-ending battle. It's going to be an uphill battle that never ends. Why? Because the external world, the external sources of, of self-worth and validation are constantly changing, right? Your peer groups, they're going to shift and change around. You may have a lot of friends. You may end up having very little friends at some point, etc. You know, grades, you know, grades will shift into, you know, college. It will shift into getting approval at work or whatever it may be. And then for me, athletic-wise, you know, as time has gone by, I, I just haven't been able to compete at the same level, nor have I wanted to compete at the same level. And I've had to find another source of validation as I went along. It's a never-ending battle when you place it outside of you, right? It, it's, it's imperative that you start looking inward for that, that self-worth and validation, which is a constant, never-ending uh, place, uh, a well of source of validation and self-worth for you as you go forward. And the reason why that's important, all right? Let's say, you, you, let's talk about the idea that you put it outside of yourself. You put the validation, you seek validation outside of you and your self-worth outside of you, right? Imagine we have a company, right? And that company is XYZ and you have someone called the CEO or the chief executive officer of that company. And that person, him or her, whoever you want to be, is responsible for the direction of where that company needs to go. And under that company, or under, under the direction of the CEO, you have different departments of that company. You've got the marketing department, the sales department, the administrative department, you've got the research and development um, department, et cetera, right? And let's say each one of these departments come up with a great idea on how to move the company forward into the future for, uh, for something that would place the company in a better growth perspective or put the company as a leader into the area that it exists in, et cetera. So let's say the marketing department come up with a great marketing plan to say, we can really come up with this great marketing idea that will reach a, reach a lot of our, our, our consumers and will put our company into the, the area that it needs to be going forward. Or the research and development company uh, department come up with a great product that they believe that the, the company could benefit from if it were to create it and it would allow the company to have a decade length, uh, decade long, um, I would say, uh, leadership role in that area, right? So each one of these departments, they come up with these great ideas and then they go to the CEO. They pitch their idea and the CEO is really unsure of themselves. They're not too sure about whether or not these are good ideas and they need to go find the validation and self-worth outside of them. They need to find the answer to these questions and whether or not they do this outside of themselves, right? What happens to the company? Well, the company comes to a standstill, dead stop, right? If the company wants to move to a different direction that leads to more growth, more uh, sustainability for both the consumers as well as their employees, etc. And yet the CEO who's in charge of the whole ship, the whole company says, 
I don't know if that's a good idea. And he puts the company in stand hold. Uh, uh, and basically what happens is that, you know, the marketing department, they just go back to doing the same thing they've been doing every single day, right? The sales department, same thing. The research the development, you know, they put away, they buy they put their product to the side and they say, all right, let's just come up with something different and see whether or not the CEO wants to do or something. The company becomes a standstill. It stays a hold of pattern. It just keeps doing the exact same thing that it's always done until the CEO says, all right, I think I got the validation. We can go forward. But then there will be another time that CEO will say, I, I don't know. Let's come up with a different, let's see if I can, I need to get my validation and in, in, in self-worth from outside of me. That's you. That's me. That's everyone out there, right? When you place your self-worth and your validation outside of you, what you do is you tell all the, the potentials of your life, right? Let's say you want to move from, you, you, you want to go from a healthy place or you want to go from where you are today to somewhere that's more peaceful and loving and abundant and healthy, etc. All the potentials in your life that exist in this moment, when you say, I need to find validation and self-worth, what you're telling is that your desire and where you are today, you want to move from here to all to this place of that love, peace, happiness, etc. You place all those potentials that the universe can bring to you via the law of attraction on hold. And you tell your current position to say, keep doing the exact same thing that you've been doing. Keep, keep dealing with the same health issues. Keep sitting in the vibration of a uh, lack. Keep dealing with the self-worth issues, et cetera, because you have placed that self-worth outside of you. You have placed that validation outside of you, right? Think about this. If you want to feel healthy about yourself and you're dealing with like, um, you know, skin issues or whatever, or you're dealing just not feeling good about yourself and weight, et cetera, and you want to move to the vibrational state that says, I feel healthy and I feel good about myself, et cetera. When you start to go on that path, you need to start doing your detoxing. You need to start maybe change your diet. You need to do. You need to make some shifts and changes to make sure that you can get to that place, right? And then you can start magnetizing a lot of different experiences. But when you, if you place that outside of you, you place that validation and self worth outside of you. You always are going to put a stop to your progress. You're always going to tell it to say stop because I don't know if this is the right thing, and I need to find my validation and self worth outside of me. You're never going to get to your goal because you're constantly putting yourself in the position of being in the way because you're never allowing yourself to get to one state of being to the other because your self-worth and your validation is outside of you. The same goes for abundance. If you're holding on to the lack, you're never going to get to abundance because you need to find self-worth and validation outside of you. Therefore, all the potentials that allow abundance to come into your life get put on hold because you say, stop, I need to find validation and self-worth outside of me first before I can go any further. You're, you're, you're limiting your ability to go from one place to the other because you are the one um, 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 stopping it, all right? That's the energetic about what's happening, all right? There is a great video I did recently about you are source energy. And if you are trying to find where your source, um, your, where your power comes, where your self-worth comes from, where your validation comes, I highly recommend watching that video. But when you step into the creator, all right, you become the creator and you understand that every moment you're creating your now moment based on what you're thinking, what you're behaving at, what your beliefs are and the actions. The sum of that creates a vibration and that gets put out into the universe and the universe magnetizes and matches that vibration because it loves you. When you are stepping into that role, you are, you've, what you, and then you place your validation self-worth outside of it, basically what you've done is you've given your creator power and you've given your power away to something outside of you, never allowing yourself to be the creator and move forward. It requires you to be the creator and to take that self-worth and that validation and see it inside you, not from outside you, but inside you so that you can go forward and create the reality that you want so that you can start thinking and that you can start behaving and you can formulate beliefs and you can start taking actions that, that center around the idea of feeling worthy and feeling validated for who you are and for what you're doing. And therefore, you start to draw and magnetize via the law of attraction, via the love and beneficial energy that is source energy to come into your reality and show you a bunch of experiences around that. 
that is why it's really imperative for you to start looking at yourself and saying, I, I no longer want to put validation outside me because what you've been doing has been putting yourself at a stop. You've been holding yourself back and then you've been telling the universe, don't bring this to me. Don't bring all this beneficial and the things that I want to get to where I want to be because I need to find my self-worth and validation outside of me. It's a beautiful thing when you start to actually do that. You start to see how you get your self-worth. You start to see how you create your reality. But in the other aspect of this is that when you start to do that, you get to be an example for other people to see how they do that, right? You get to show other people through your own being, through your own truth, about being who you are and finding that self-worth and validation for who you are that allows other people to say, I like what you're doing. I want to do what you're doing. How are you doing that? And then you can just share them videos or you can share them your experience just like, you, just like I am doing for you. So if you're going along your path and you've been holding your self-worth and validation outside of you, it's going to be a never-ending battle. It's always going to be something that you're going to have to find your self-worth and validation outside of you. And it behooves you in these energies to start looking inward. It, it behooves you to start being the self-worth and validation today going forward inside you versus putting it outside of you so you don't so you don't stop putting so you don't stop telling the universe um hey you know what i want all these desires and all these things that i would really make me feel good about myself don't bring them to me because i need to bring i, I have validation and self-worth issues that are i placed outside of me be that for yourself so that you can allow the universe to start bringing that towards you and you stop being in your own way getting in your own way. So I hope that helps you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Spiritual Dowsy on my Instagram or Spiritual Dowsy on my Facebook page or subscribe here on my video if you liked it and uh, leave a comment and make sure you hit the uh, bell uh, to uh, be um, notified if I put other videos up. Uh, I love you. I hope that helps you. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.